how y'all how y'all doing sending love and light your way i got one for y'all today i am going to entitle this video christianity and spirituality a little backstory i grew up in the church in a baptist church i was baptized used to be in the choir used to be on the usher board went to visit other churches sing at their churches went to other churches um their usher anniversary so on and so forth it's typical black church stuff so we grew up in the church and we stopped going to church as soon as we were old enough to make our own decisions now for me i have um not been in the church in a while Last time I remember being in the church was for a funeral. Uh, and I did stray away from the church a little bit. And I've gotten more into spirituality. What is spirituality, Lisa? Don't worry. I'm going to tell y'all. All right. So Christianity, um, as I understand it now, and I appreciate it. And mom and family, thank you for making us go to church in our younger years. Because now I understand 100% what we were learning there then and how it applies to us now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to suggest to you that Christianity is a stepping stone to spirituality. Christianity is the stepping stone to spirituality, okay? So growing up in the church, we learned about the Bible and we learned about the story of Jesus and how Jesus was out there preaching the word and preaching love and performing miracles and all of that. He was God. He was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all in one together, omnipresent, there is no distinguishing between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It says that. I understand that. My interpretation of what I learned growing up in church, okay? So here we go. We go and we learn this story of Jesus and how we need to love. And we learn about the Ten Commandments. And how he tells you that thou shalt have no other God before me. Don't praise nobody else before me. I am Lord, I am God, right? Don't praise nobody else before me. If I'm not mistaken, that's the first commandment, right? Then if you go, you search in the Bible and you know, in Genesis, God created man. And in that book, he explains, he created man in his own image. So I am God and I am creating man in my image. If I'm God and I am creating in my image, I therefore am creating a God. No? Just keep that in mind. So um, you grow up in the church and, you know, we all praise God when things are good. And some of us actually praise God when things are bad as well. And some of us stray away from God when things are bad because it's like, oh my God, how can God do this? And how can God allow this to happen? Or the devil is a liar. You hear that a lot, you know, right? Again, I go back. Christianity is the stepping, tone, stepping stone to spirituality. How many times have you, ha have you heard someone say the devil is a liar? And usually they say the devil is a liar when they either didn't do something that was right or they use that as an excuse for something that didn't go the way it should have been. Right? So, my thought pattern for Christianity and spirituality is this. When you get to the point in Christianity, when you find yourself continuously saying the devil is a liar, or continuously saying, how can God have allowed this to happen, or God has taken this person too soon, and so on and so forth. When you either start to blame God or question God or blame the devil, and think about the devil now for nothing. Sometimes the devil just minding his business. He probably sleeping. He hears somebody saying, oh, the devil is a liar. He probably like, I didn't even do nothing. I was asleep. But that's neither here nor there. But once that point comes, I think, well, for me, it came to a point where I had to realize or I had to understand that I lacked something and I needed to find that something and I needed to find it beyond God. 
All right, explain yourself, Lisa. So, when I was depressed and when I was at my lowest and I wanted to not live anymore, I found myself wanting unconditional love. I wanted to feel the love that God explains that he has for us. I wanted to feel that unconditional love. I felt like I gave out that unconditional love, but it wasn't coming back to me. You understand? I felt like at a point where I did, I felt like I didn't deserve to be on this earth. That's how pure my love was. I felt like I didn't deserve to be on this earth. Therefore, I did not want to be on it. I was at my lowest point in my life. Then I wanted this unconditional love. And one night it came to me and said, if you want to feel that love, Lisa, you have to love yourself that way. The way that God demands love from you is the way he demands that you actually love yourself. Miss Jackson, the only way you are going to feel that unconditional love that you seek and that you have been seeking is if you give it to yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I know y'all have been watching me and I need you to understand the reason I love the way I love is because no one else will love me the way I love myself. There will never be another me in this world. There will never be another Lisa Jackson. So I only got really one chance real quick in this lifetime to make it a great life. God made us in his own image, meaning he made us gods to the point where we then need to look within ourselves to bring that godliness out because it is already within us. You are already enough to get and acquire what it is you want and desire. We were brought to this earth to live abundantly. The life that you are living right now, you chose. And Christianity allows us to realize that we are gods within ourselves. Because in the Bible, through the life of Jesus, you learn to love. How you should love this man, how you should live, right? You obey goodness. Then when you realize that you are the God that you we're just praising you are that same thing. You realize, oh, wow. I am capable of anything. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to suggest to you that you are a God within yourself. You shall put no one else before yourself. You are the director, the producer, the star actor of your own Bible. Your own show, ladies and gentlemen. You write your story. There is no one else to blame other than yourself for the life that you are living. If you are going through hardships, that's because you put it in your life to get to go through because you have to learn a lesson that leads you to the next level of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, think of everything that you know about the Bible and the love that you have for Jesus. Everything. The love, the dedication that you have for your Lord and Savior and understand that it is okay for you to put that same love and dedication into yourself. That's not no sin. He's telling you he made you in his own image Thou shalt not have any other God before me. You shouldn't put nobody else before you. How can someone love someone they cannot see but not love thy neighbor that they see every day? Paraphrasing here, but you get the point. How can you say you love God but not love yourself? How can you not love yourself just as you love God? There's no distinguishing there. Just a suggestion. Make you think a little bit. Make you understand where I'm coming from and where these videos have came from and where they're going. Because I'm going somewhere with this stuff, all right? Thank you for staying with me. It's almost 10 minutes long. Thank you very much. Send in love and light your way. Psh! Got him! Let's go!